Today on the show, we are talking wellness with Dr. Grant A. Fairbanks, and we're talking classic movies with Mr. Todd Summers. And we're also going to talk about my cool face covering. All this and more starting right here, right now on Talk 365 TV. Here we go. All right, Trip. you're gonna have to show me this because I wore a mask into Dick's, poked my eye, was watering, had like mascara and all kinds of fun stuff happening. How did you poke your eye? Well, because of the squishy part on the nose, like right there, that's like metal. I don't know, it like rammed I, up into my eyelashes and it was a whole thing. There have been millions of people wearing these masks. Right? No one has ever- I poked their own eye out. I'm sure someone has poked their eye the exact same. Sylvia has. I know cute Casey, Andy's mom, is struggling with her mask where little ponytail was giving her a hard time. Show us what you got. So this is actually a really good idea. This is, so at the end of the season at Snowbird every year, they, they give us gifts. And we got this maybe five years ago. I, re I remember it. And put it it's, on. it's great to have on a powder day, day or cold day, yeah. you just have this around your neck, you put up. But now I have the world's coolest mask. It's easy to breathe through. The uh -huh. sad part, this is not me skiing powder here. No, that's what makes you sad? Yes, I wish it was me, and I, I tell people it was, but it's actually my boss, John Cotter. It's a little upside down, but it's okay, but we get it. Okay, well... We'll do a close-up on it. Okay, we'll do a close-up. But the point I'm, I'm trying to make inartfully is that um, wear a mask. You're, you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for the other people. Well, I think the argument is that it's droplet and that it's really about not touching your hands and face at the end of the day and keeping your hands clean. So, so moving on from masks and fun, how is your hip? You just got back from Tosh. How are you feeling? Yesterday was a bad morning. I went to Liberty Park okay. and I was skating. I've got the new roller blades. I'm, in, inline skates? Inline skates. I've got ice hockey starting in two weeks. So I I'm, have a visual of you. The first time I ever saw you in your inline skates, we were at KPDR. You had your mom jean shorts on, your inline skates. I had, it was an 80s dream. It was beautiful. So I was flying. Uh, the wind was in my hair. Okay, maybe not flying, but I got passed by a woman my age. Uh -huh. <laughs> and she passed me, and I'm going, son of a... So I, I call the engine room. I go, all flank speed. We're going. This but is it, happening. Yeah, it takes a little while to get the engine room cranked up. And so I got up to speed. Is and the I, engine room in the caboose? Yeah, whatever, okay. down, yeah. So I got going, and I could go match her speed, but I could never catch up to her. She probably doesn't have two hips and a shoulder and I a know, knee but and all kinds of crazy things I know, that you but have. by the way, Liberty Park, what a joy. It's it, beautiful. Yeah, it just, it's joyful. I. Getting outside right now is joyful. In fact, coming up next, we're going to be talking about camping. We're going to be talking about movies, things you can be doing, enjoying this wonderful time of year. So don't go anywhere. We'll have movies and fun right after this. I'm Chris Berman, and welcome back to the biggest auto protection show on earth, brought to you by CarShield. If your car is out of warranty or close to expiring, you could get stuck paying thousands for an engine, transmission, or computer system breakdown. But when you have CarShield, you'll never pay for covered repairs again. CarShield makes sure you don't have to pay for expensive car repairs, and that's why I'm a CarShield customer. Call 800-970-0843, 800-970-0843. Hey everyone, I'm Holly Love, and I am here at the Certified Hypnotherapy Training School with my good friend, Dennis Parker. Dennis, I have three questions for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Number one, when do classes start? A person can uh, start with the online portion of the training anytime and then uh, come into the live classroom trainings as we have them scheduled. Who's signing up and why? We have uh, people who sign up to be certified clinical hypnotherapists who want to have those clinical skills to be able to affect behavioral modification. We have uh, people who are executives, uh, managers, 
or who want to have other career enhancements. And we also have grandparents and parents who want to know how to work with their own children and family. Number three, what happens if people mention that they saw us on Talk 365? We're offering a $200 textbook and CD package as part of their full registration. All of this information and more is available on the website. Log on and change your life today. Enroll now. Classes start soon. Talk 365 TV's Classic Movie Minute with Todd Summers. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, we are talking movies. We are talking camping. We are talking all things fun to be doing right now. My favorite time of year, we just got back from Caribou, which is up by Lava Hot Springs, and we did our annual trailer crawl, and it was a huge success. We were a Trolls World Tour theme. Savannah was Classic Troll. Chloe was the Rock Troll. Andy was, of course, Techno Troll, and I was Poppy, so it was really super fun and if you haven't seen Trolls World Tour I'm highly recommending it and I guess with the whole digital debut Forbes says that it had the biggest worldwide release ever. Well the world is changing and content is coming out to people at homes and there's still some things you much more fun to see a, a movie. movie like that in the theater. Right. And I wonder if they'll go back and do a re-release. Probably. Have you heard oh. anything like that? Oh, for sure they will. If there's money to be if made. If not, you should pay me for that idea because that was brilliant, right? I, no, I, I think maybe a junior executive, you know. Might have already come up with that idea. So some friends of ours, Vita's and mine, came up with the idea of appointing a vice president for Joe Biden and they thought they, they oh. thought of it. Okay. And it's a, a woman who was worked for, she's a Republican rice, but Anyway, they are so proud of this idea, but it, you can't ever come up with a new idea because someone has it. Somebody's already thought of it. Yeah. We were watching The Masked Singer as far as reruns on uh, Hulu or whatever you're watching, Netflix, I think that one's on Hulu. And it, I guess it's not reruns, it was just actually debuting at the time. And Sarah Palin, did you see that she was on <laughs> The Masked Singer? And she sang Baby Got Back. It was a flashback and we had to have this whole introduction into Sarah Palin. Remember the rap that she did with Amy Poehler on Saturday Night Live? Amazing. Oh, One who, who, of my most favorite moments of my life as a female in this industry was that moment right there because Amy Poehler was like nine months pregnant. She literally went into labor like that night next day, had her baby, but she was there and she gave the most phenomenal performance. And on that, so good. on that same show, she did a thing with a Greg Allman song, I'm No Angel, uh -huh. where she did a dance with uh, Barbara Streisand's son-in-law. The oh, the actor, Josh Brolin? Josh Brolin and mm -hmm. her did I'm No Angel with her nine months pregnant. Oh, if you get a chance, look it up on YouTube. It is a classic. Oh, so good. I yeah. love it so much. Okay, she and her else? partner are amazing. And they're doing the Golden Globes again. Golden Globes. Tina Fey. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. When they're together, they are Electric. magic. I yeah. know, they're so super And cute. Tina Fey with Sarah Palin was magic. I know, I know. So who will, who's going to be Biden? Oh, we already have him, Woody Harrelson. Where have I been? I'm around. I'm here. I'm paying attention. Well, all right. Whatever you're doing, get out. Enjoy the weather right now while you can. If you can, go camping. Get out there. It was absolutely beautiful. We social distanced. We were responsible. There's a way, like you said, go biking in Liberty Park. Go breathe some fresh air and enjoy this beautiful weather while we can. Carpe diem. And in the meantime, if you're interested in watching a tearjerker, if you need a catalyst for crying at this time in your life, we recommend watching Todd's classic movie pick, Stella Dallas. He's going to tell you all about it right now. Hi, everybody. It's Todd Summers, and welcome to Todd's Classic Movie Minute. I have a movie that I want you to watch from 1937 called Stella Dallas, starring Barbara Stanwyck and Anne Shelley. But let me warn you, you're going to need an entire box of tissues because this is a tearjerker. This is a sad, sad movie. I'm getting sad telling you about it. Um, but both Barbara and Anne were nominated for Oscars. Barbara was for lead role, Anne was for the supporting role. Fantastic movie. It's just, it's mother-daughter, it's putting your life on your line for the people that you love. Good luck with it. I mean, it's sad. From 1937, Stella Dallas. Now, if you want to rent Stella Dallas, go to Amazon Prime. 
Look for it. It's worth it. This is you. You've written a book. Congratulations. You're a writer. But wait, to be a true author, you have to actually publish your book. So the next step is to find a publisher or agent that shouts it out to the world that you're a real author. This is where we come in. Discover Publishers will help you find the right publisher to edit, illustrate, print, sell, distribute, and promote your book. We will match your needs with our list of qualified publishers and agents to find the right fit. And the best part? It's completely free. We connect publishers with writers just like you. We put you in the driver's seat as publishers rush to your door to get your book in bookstores. Publishers have specific strengths. We know them and will find the right ones for you. Don't run all over town. Make publishing houses come to you. Discover Publishers and get you free access to the leading publishers in the industry. Fast. Call 800-692-0851 for pre-information packages. That's 800-692-0851. 800-692-0851. 800-692-0851. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and my passion has always been to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. TV has helped my pillow become the amazing company that it is today. So my employees and I want to thank you with some of our best prices ever. Go to MyPillow.com right now and click on TV specials. You'll get deep discounts on MyPillows, mattress topper sheets, and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regular $89.99 for only $29.99 with your promo code. Moving can be one of the most stressful things you'll ever do. And at Moving APT, we specialize in taking the stress and strain out of your move. Whether you have a one-bedroom apartment or a 10-bedroom mansion, you can feel safe and confident that Moving APT will get the job done. Licensed, bonded, and insured, you always get the best price. That's right, we will meet or beat any quote. That's our price match guarantee. So if you're planning an out-of-state move within the next 30 to 60 days, give us a call. Today's wellness news you can use is brought to you by Fairbanks Art of Plastic Surgery. And we're back on the show. And one thing that we've learned is that people without the ability to leave the house were not as beautiful as they were (laughs) when they could go out and visit their hairdresser. Right. We definitely appreciate all of the lash artists and color artists. Keep us looking good. Oh, my goodness. It got bad in there for a minute. Did it? You heard the story. Andy was like, you will forever have lashes, whatever you need, girl, because I, I, it was so busy. And then it was like, once it opened up, we were so busy and they were so slammed by that point. Oh, sure. I couldn't get in for another month. So, oh my gosh, I appreciate it. There are uh, hairstylists in New York who charge over $1,000 for a color wow. and a cut, and they are backed up by months. Wow, wow, uh, wow, wow. Can you wow. imagine making $1,000 cutting someone's hair? I'm, I would enjoy oh, yeah, making yeah. $1,000. I got a Floby. Give me a call. We could have an experiment in terror or something fun. Okay, speaking of improving. Now, if having some kind of a procedure done like a facelift is something you've had on your bucket list or your to-do list or something you've been thinking about, I would propose right now being a very ideal time to do it. There are safety measures that are being taken and extra precautions that are entirely probably more safe than it's ever been. You just had your hip redone surgery-wise. And as far as the world goes, what a better time to take a break, do some self-improvement, and be able to come back a couple months later and look amazing. So now Dr. Grant A. Fairbanks is not only an incredible plastic surgeon, he's a gifted artist. He actually trains plastic surgeons from all over the world in an art class. They come here and he teaches them uh, medical sculpting and medical drawing. And he's a fourth generation artist. His grandpa was Arvard Fairbanks, the very famous uh, sculptor who had done a lot of amazing work both here and locally across the country in Washington, DC. So he comes from a long line of artists. And Sylvia and I, when we're editing, I was telling you about this when we were doing makeup because his before and afters for a facelift is like, when you look at them, it's literally like looking at mother daughter. He, when he says, when you want to have a facelift, you want to look like you just took 10 years back or you turn the clock back. You don't want to look stretched or strange or weird or pulled. He delivers on that. There is a very famous actor who's in his 60s. Burt Reynolds. No. Kenny Loggins. Nope. Just got married. Who? Dennis Quaid. Oh, did he have a bad one? I don't know, but look at the picture. His wife is 23 and he's 65 and it looks... The pictures I've seen don't oh, 
He was killing it for a minute, doing some online like e oh he insurance or something. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Oh, I mean, he's got a great career, and he in some of the best movies, The Rookie, one of my favorite right. movies of all time. But yeah, when when a facelift goes, and I don't know if it is, but just the pictures I've seen, things seem a little I tight. I would say when things go wrong with a facelift, there's sort of no not understanding that that was a wrong facelift <laughs> because it makes you want to scream. Bad to pay. Is, I would be a secondary. There, there's a guy at who uh, at security at the St. Louis airport, and this oh, no. all this thing needs is a chin strap, right? Because it looks like he's a furrier going out <laughs> no. in Alaska, and this thing is so big and awkward. And oh, don't you wonder why? But then again, Trump, like, how does he do his hair in the morning? What goes through people's heads sometimes? Don't you just wonder? Orange cotton candy? in that case. Dreams of cotton candy. I don't know, but. Moral being, your plastic surgeon should be an artist. They should be someone who sees you from the standpoint with an artistic eye and artistic skill, as well as the surgical skill. And Dr. Fairbanks has 17 plus years of experience in this industry. He's incredible. And he's gonna tell you all about the different versions of facelift that he offers and where you can go to find out more information. Here you go. Today's Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness is brought to you by Fairbanks Art of Plastic Surgery with wellness team expert, Dr. Grant A. Fairbanks. Hey everybody, welcome to our Talking Wellness series. I'm Holly Love and today we are back with our wellness team expert, Dr. Grant A. Fairbanks to tell you all about facelifts. Hi Dr. Fairbanks, how are Hello, you? Holly. Doing well, thank you. So we are talking facelifts today because there are a number of things to consider on any procedure that you might be wanting to undertake. And facelifts, it just seems there are two things that are really important to know, and that would be number one is knowing all of your options, and number two is timing and recovery because that's obviously gonna play into your work life and your schedule because I think arming yourself with as much information as humanly possible when considering a surgery like this is probably the best thing you can do. And there are a lot of different ways to approach a facelift, but I would like to break down so that people can really understand the different ways that are out there because each one really brings about a different result. You're correct. So the original facelift was a simple skin lift, just lifting up the skin up and over. Um, and then over time, we started to learn about doing a, a, a deeper facelift, taking a deeper layer and pulling that up to give more of a foundation. This has been proved to be very useful. And then we decided to go even deeper, and that's called a deep plane facelift. And that goes down into a second layer and past what we call the release zones. So at that point, you can really see the pull. So with a facelift, What's really important is the pull, the direction of pull. You don't want to be stretched and strange. You don't want to look like everything is just going straight up. Right. You want to make sure that it's a natural looking facelift. Let's talk about your approach because you combine 17 years in this industry. You combine your artistic skill with advanced surgical skills and you've got a real custom version of all of those. Tell me a little bit more about that. So the facelifts I offer are uh, dependent upon the patient. And uh, that's why the evaluation is very important and to understand what the patient's goal is. So we can go all the way from the deep plane facelift, which is essentially a double layer and going deeper, going further, and having a, a more youthful appearance to um, a simple skin lift, which is good for some people and maybe that's all they need. So it really depends on what the patient needs and what the patient wants. I think facelift more than any other procedure, it needs to look natural. Nobody wants to look done. Like we were talking about before, you want to have people just be like, have you been sleeping better? Have you lost weight? Are you in that's love? Correct. Like, why are you glowing? Those are the responses that you get from your facelifts. But correct. I think we've all seen one that looks very fake and very scary. And that natural result is the most important thing, especially in this procedure. So That's understanding correct. what the different types of facelifts deliver in the end is really important. That's correct. What about ages? Is there a specific age that you recommend to come in and start having this conversation or is that a preference? Too? Well, the typical age that we see facelift patients coming in is usually 50s, 60s, sometimes early 70s. We've seen them as early as late 30s, believe it or not. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, the patients that we've done at a younger age tend to have more lax skin at a younger age. Wow. The nice thing about the facelift is it helps a person feel younger. And then there are the patients who say, you know what, I'm looking older, but I feel younger because I exercise and I want my face to match the rest of my body. Right. And those are the other people that will come in for the facelift. Well, tell me this because what's interesting is timing and that's another thing to take into consideration. You obviously offer this throughout the year, but you've noticed different times of year that people seem to gravitate and right now is a time of year that a lot of people want to have facelift surgery done. It depends on the person and what they do during the year. For example, many people want to have it done say in the winter or the early spring and that way it doesn't interfere with their summer activities. Mm -hmm. There are people where their jobs won't let them do it until a certain time such as spring break or summer break. So it really all depends on the patient and their agenda. Right, let's talk recovery. How many days, because this isn't something like you can go and get done on your lunch time. No. There's gonna be a little bit of recovery. It always takes time. If you wanna have a good result with safety, less swelling, less bruising, it takes a little more time but I've asked patients to really avoid strenuous activity for at least six weeks. Ooh, okay. So no aerobic exercise and so forth. Now, by the time they're 10, 14 days out, they're actually feeling more comfortable about going into public. Mm -hmm. The swelling isn't as much as they thought it would be typically, but after six weeks, people are free to do anything they want to do. But people who come in to uh, see us from out of town they're back on an airplane in 10 to 14 days. And that's how quickly the, the swelling and bruising has, has gone down so that they're better off in public again. And you look relatively back to normal, like the swelling. I know swelling takes a really long time to yes. completely go away, but for the most part, at the end of that six weeks, you can be out and about and looking. Correct. Typically, I tell people, wait for three months. After three months, you can pretty much tell what your facelift is gonna look like. Mm -hmm. Now the scars will always be pink for the first few months. Mm -hmm. They start to fade, and it usually takes a full year for the scars to completely fade. Okay, and what about the bruising? How long does that take? If there's bruising, and sometimes there's more than others, mm -hmm. um, two, three weeks. Okay. Uh, fortunately, that can be covered up with some makeup, mm -hmm. and so it's actually a, a fairly well accepted thing. Mm -hmm. So if people are interested in getting this done, what is the best way to get a hold of you and what is the next step? They can go to the website at fairbanksmd.com and you can put on the promo code TALK365TV. And book a free consultation. That's correct. Thank you for that so much. So for our viewers, he's agreed to extend his offer to do a free consultation if you enter promo code TALK365TV when booking online at fairbanksmd.com, which is huge. He spends a lot of time drawing, sketching, bringing his artistic skill, his medical knowledge, answering all of your questions, probably over a $200 value that you're saving by entering that promo code or let them know that you saw the spot today and then get in here because knowing and being able to have your questions answered will be half the battle at making the decision and moving forward and then, you know, leading your best life, which is what we want for everybody. That's correct. Well, Dr. Fairbanks, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. The pleasure is mine. Thank you. All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Talk 365 TV right after this. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. Over the last 12 years, you've helped MyPillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got MyPillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. That's why I invented MyPillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress topper sheets and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regularly $89.99, only $29.99 with your promo code. With our 60-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, this may be the most important phone call you'll ever make. I owed $87,000 in taxes. But listen... 
your tax problem is settled. You only owe $3,500. What a great message. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number. Let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. Call this number or go to tax10,000.com. Brain Rehab Clinic is proud to announce that they're the first clinic in Utah to have on site the gyrostem. And we're back on a beautiful morning. Uh, we are very lucky to live here. And uh, it's funny how, you know, we were talking before how beauty treatments, you know, everyone kind of missed their beauty treatments, but the perfect person would be, can you imagine if you had a facelift on March 11th? That was the day the Jazz canceled their Everything season. Everything just yeah. like stopped and, and you you're just in emerge. The, yeah, you come out two, three months later out of quarantine. Right. And everyone's going, boy, you look great. This well, must have been... It seems like there's like two camps in the world right now. There's the camp that is people who see this as an opportunity to like regroup, rethink, rebuild, re-strategize. And then there's the camp of like, you know, doomsdayers. But the camp that wants to improve, man, I would say look out. We are going to have some really cool business opportunities, really cool things coming. I mean, I know we do. We have some really cool things coming down the pipeline. So Zoom is a huge beneficiary. I mean, a lot of people never experienced Zoom, had no idea what it was, and now it's part and parcel of our lives. Yeah. So we typically, I think we do seven shows and podcasts a week, mm -hmm. and they're all, virtually all of them are on Zoom. Yeah. And you know, you can get great guests that you couldn't get before, be before Travel. you had to get them to go into a studio with right. a satellite uplink and do Slink all that up. stuff. Yep. Now, we get people who are amazing. The only challenge is if, if we get guests my age or above. They're struggling with Zoom. Zoom is the easiest thing in the world, but there there have been some struggles, but right. we get wives and kids to help out. To I'm, give you. I'm curious how many people will actually go back to work the way they used to. I mean, Andy and I were talking about this from a hospital standpoint. They're already talking about having like two days on, two days off from working from home. I mean, obviously saving resources, not only on the planet with gasoline oh. and oil and cars and traffic, um, but also resources for them. I mean, you're at home using your own toilet paper, your own internet, your own electricity. I mean, well, if, if, it's a huge cost saver and people want to work from home. I prefer going to an office. I right. really do. Right. It, it gets you, you focused. the social. Yeah. Farrell and I were talking about that. He's like, I need the social. He was like, I couldn't do this at home all the time. So it'll be interesting to see as everything sort of clears, the smoke clears, and things go back to what we would call normal or the new normal. Basically, what will be emerging new business-wise, technology-wise, and how jobs will have evolved. So I am, Vita made me get an iPhone. And for a Zoom meeting, iPhones are amazing. Right. I mean, the picture quality is, it's, Shocking, but my challenge is I put it up like this and it always invariably if I'm doing a show even yeah on location It slides down like that. You just need a little stand. Yeah, I do I just need to hook you up with the right equipment. Yes, indeed and Since you are an official podcaster and you're very official I am well, very official. I find that we work way more hard now because you can you can like stack your day in whereas before you have a couple appointments in a day and that's your day you're on the road, but it's it you've been wondering where we are we've just been nuts busy well work, i blame zoom working is good we got to get out of here we do in the meantime you guys have a wonderful day out there be safe be healthy and enjoy this beautiful time of year bye bye everyone